What if I told you that creating stunning 3D elements for your website is actually easier than you think? Today I'll give you a step-by-step -step crash course on Spline and show you how to create this interactive and fully textured 3D soda can that you can embed into your Elementor website. You don't need to be an expert and you don't need to learn Blender. Just follow along and by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully interactive 3D soda can that you can showcase on your homepage. The first step is setting up Spline. Head over to spline.design, create an account and log in. Once inside, you can start a new project by selecting a template or building from scratch. To keep things simple, let's begin with a blank canvas. By default, you'll see a rectangle in the center. Go ahead and delete it. The interface is split into different sections. On the left, you have the layers panel to manage objects. At the top, you'll find tools and shapes. And on the right, you have the properties panel where you can adjust values. Now let's create our soda can. First, add a cylinder by clicking the plus icon. Hold shift while creating it to ensure a perfectly portioned shape. To move around, hold alt and use the arrow keys. If you ever lose track of your position, use the directional points at the bottom to reset your view. Next, go to the properties panel. Center the cylinder by setting all the XYZ values to zero. Adjust the height and width until it resembles a can. If you want smoother edges, tweak the corner settings. But for now, let's keep it simple. Next, we need to refine the shape. Click on the cylinder and select smooth mode. This allows us to break into sections and modify individual parts. Switch to the top view, then select only the top face. Be careful not to select the entire shape. To avoid mistakes, go to the settings, and switch to front view mode. Once selected, use the extrude tool to pull the top upwards slightly, then push the x-axis inward to round out the shape. Click outside to deselect. Now do the same for the bottom. Extrude it slightly inward to create a realistic base. The shape is looking good, but it's slightly too tall. So let's scale down the y-axis. Next, it's time to add textures. Go to the Materials tab, click the plus icon in the color section and upload an image for the cans label. To ensure it wraps correctly, select the cylindrical wrap as the projection type and set it to clamp. If the texture appears flipped, set X to minus one and adjust Y if needed. If necessary, apply an offset to position it perfectly. Now let's add a metallic finish to make the can look realistic. Go to Materials, Select matte cap and choose a reflective metal texture. You'll notice the can immediately looks more polished. With the right lighting setup, this will enhance the overall realism. Next, let's create the top of the can. Add a cylinder, reduce its Y size to make it thinner and position it right above the main body. Again, apply smooth mode. And this time, use the inset tool to slightly push the edges inward. Then use Extrude to create a small indentation where the opener will be. Once again, add a matte cap with a metallic texture to match the rest of the can. For the opener, draw a square while holding shift for perfect proportions. Resize and position it correctly. Then apply a matte cap for the right metallic finish. Next, create another rectangle. Adjust its bottom edges and place it over the opener shape to make it look more detailed. Finally, add two additional smaller shapes and use the exclusion tool to define the details and give it a more realistic cutout effect. Apply matte caps to all of these parts to complete the look. Now let's move to the bottom of the can. Just like before, create a thin cylinder, position it correctly, and extrude slightly upward to form a realistic indentation. Apply the same matte cap to maintain a consistent metallic texture. To improve realism, add a directional light, adjust its position, and tweak the lightning settings until the reflections look just right. Once everything is in place, it's time to export the design. Click on play settings and make a few adjustments. 
Hide the background color, disable page scroll, disable pan, then enable on hover for interactivity and tweak the sensitivity. When ready, click update public URL. This generates an embed code that you can now add to your website. If you're using WordPress and Elementor, go to the page where you want to embed the 3D model, insert an HTML widget, paste the embed code, and adjust the height to ensure the full object is visible. But before you jump in, there's something important to keep in mind. Adding 3D elements like the soda can or even models from Spline Library can slow down your website. That's why I always use a free plugin called Airlift. It automatically applies over 50 optimizations to keep your site running fast, so you don't have to worry about the performance issues. Just install it and you're good to go. Okay, now that's done, let's go back and center the soda can and change its position to absolute. Click publish and that's it. Your interactive 3D soda can is now live on your website. And that's how you create a stunning 3D object using Spline and embed it into your Elementor site. If you run into any errors or just want a quick way to try this out, I have linked a JSON template in the pinned comment below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.